Okay, it's me. I'm back again. And this time we're going to talk about loading tools into the Haas mill. Uh, just a real quick refresher, when we were in class, I said that there were basically six steps to operate a CNC machine. Number one, power the machine up. Number two, load the tools. Number three, set the tool length offsets. Number four, set the origin. And then we're ready to run that program. And then we're going to shut the thing down and clean up and go home. So this is really the second video for the Haas. And it has to do with loading tools. This machine has already been powered up from our last video. In order to load the tools, I'm going to need to go to the MDI mode. This is one of our mode switches over here. I'm going to press MDI. Now, different machines call that different things. The uh, Fadal machine that we have calls it manual would be the same button as the MDI. MDI stands for Manual Data Input. It just means we're going to speak to the machine using CNC code. What I am going to do here is I want to call up and be sure that tool one is in the spindle. We're going to talk about in class, and we, we, we've been talking about, there, there are actually two different kinds of tool changers on the CNC machines. One of them is a sequential tool changer, which means the tools are loaded in one, two, three, four, five in dedicated slots. This machine has a sequential tool changer. So when I call it tool one, it will go to a position that's marked tool number one. It will go there every time. When I call it tool number two, it will go to the number two position. The other Haas machine that we have has a much more tool capacity. It's a faster machine. It uses a random tool changer. We talked about this in class. A random tool changer will take a tool out of the spindle and exchange it with another tool in the tool carousel. So it may take tool one and switch out with tool five. And then it will continually switch. So the tools are put in random pockets. And we talk about it in class and we'll be talking about it later on. How do we track where the tools are? But this machine has a sequential tool changer, and so I want to load a tool into position number one. What I would do, I'm in the MDI or manual mode. I'm going to type in T1. That appears at the bottom of the screen. Now, in order to go to position number one, and I'm going to say right now, when we did our power up restart, the tool changer went to position number one. So I'm asking it to go to number one just to demonstrate what to do. I've typed in T1. Over here on the control panel in the MDI column, we have two buttons, ATC forward and ATC reverse. ATC stands for automatic tool changer. Now I can ask the tool changer to move in a clockwise direction or a counterclockwise. On this machine, it really doesn't matter which direction that we go. Now on a CNC lathe, sometimes you've got to be careful if you have a big drill or a boring bar sticking out and you said to go the wrong direction, you could crash that tool. But on the CNC mill, it really doesn't make any difference. So I'm going to reach over and press the ATC. I'll press ATC reverse. And there was actually nothing that happened because I was already there. I had to stop and check. Now I'm going to take the first tool here. And by the way, this is the tool holder. Notice there's a couple of slots. I don't know how this will show up on the video. There's a slot on either side. Be sure as you install the tool that this, these slots align themselves with the tabs that are on the spindle. Now, this is going to be hard to see on the video, but there's two tabs on the spindle that have to line up. So you want to be sure you line those up. What happens is when I press the button to load the tool, You'll hear air noise. What happens is the clamp opens up, I'll put the tool in, and when I release the button, the clamp will grab hold of that tool and lock it in place. So these CNC machines have to have at least 100 pounds of air pressure in order to hold that tool in. One other thing I want to caution you to, uh, different machines, the tool holders may be slightly different. On, the, on our machines, the Fadal machine and the Haas machine, this part of the holder is exactly the same. The Haas machines have got a long 
pull on them. The Fadal machine has a short pull. So if you're looking for a certain tool, if it's mounted up and it's got the wrong pull on it and you put it in the machine, there's a good chance that it's not going to stay in place. You're going to, it's going to fall out and break or it's not going to be held securely. So do not interchange tools between the different brands of machines. All of the Haas machines use the same one with the long pull. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in, I'm going to line up the tabs with the spindle. You want to try to get in there and see any of this? It's up, it's up underneath. I'm going to line up with the spindle. I'm going to press the tool release button, which is on this machine is right here. And you saw as it opened up, the tool was able to slide up in there and then come out. To take it out, I will press tool release and hold the tool. It's that simple. Just be sure that these line up correctly. This is not something you have to do really quick. Push that button in, align the tool, and then release the button, such as this. And it's in there. Now we're going to put another tool in. So I'm going to come back to the control. I'm going to go T2. I'm going to hit ATC, forward or reverse. Put the first tool up. This time I'll just grab a chuck. Again, we've got the correct end on that. I'm going to line it up. Be sure that those tabs line up. If, we, if you get it crooked in there, take it out and get it correct. If it's in there wrong, it's going to crash on the tool changer. It needs to be at the exact location. I uh, will add one more tool. T3, ATC forward. Here's a reamer. Reach in there. And that's what it is to changing tools. You would go and look in your program, find all the tools that are required. In most cases, we'll just jot them down over here. Go find the tools, make sure they're mounted in the holders, just like in the regular shop. Take a look at those tools and see if they're sharp. See if they're broken. If anything's wrong, we want to replace them. We want to put good tools into this machine. Once you have all the tools mounted, get them over here and line them up and go through and we install them. What I suggest doing, if you're going to be using three or four tools, I would load those in tool number one, two, three, four, and add another tool, which would be a chuck that I could use for my edge finder. Put that in as another separate tool. You would not use it in your program, but you would be able to use it with your edge finder. So I would, I would suggest that. Now when we're through loading tools, in order to get them out, I'm still on tool three, I'll just pull that tool out. I'll go back to tool number two. ATC forward or reverse, it doesn't matter. Either one works fine. Take this one out. Back to tool one. loaded some tools and we've taken them out. When I get through with this machine, I would do power of restart, which will send the machine back to home in rapid, and I kill the power. And that concludes this section.